Hi friends, welcome to Inspi Genius for JE, that is IIT JE 2020. Today we are going to study the kinematics, that is the second lecture. In previous lecture we had studied about the distance and displacement and today's lecture we are going to cover distance, uh, sorry, speed and velocities and types of speed and velocities. So let us start uh, before please uh, like and subscribe for the early updates, share it. Thank you. So this is a kinematics dimension 1 series in which today we are going to cover the speed velocity average speed average velocity instantaneous speed instantaneous velocity these are the terms that we are going to cover so what is the speed speed here we can uh, can say when object is moving in a particular distance particular distance means it is a fixed distance and it will reaching in a earlier time and for the same distance if object is reaching for the longer time then we can say in previous case the object is moving faster than the later case so here the word came that is speed and speed is the time frame for the particular distance so we can say the rate of change of position of the object in any direction is the speed so speed can be calculated uh, calculated as distance upon time that is a mathematical term we use the distance upon time here I just like to share the to make it easier a trick to learning this formula that is this is the distance partition is this is the speed and this is the time so here we can say that the speed is equal to what speed is equal to distance upon time or here distance is equal to speed into time or we can say the time is equal to distance upon speed so if you little bit confused with this formula you can learn from this triangle just you have to cope up that this is d s t so this is about the speed and on the screen you can see there is a instrument this instrument is named as what it is a speedometer that you can see in your vehicles or two vehicles or four vehicles or any vehicles you have seen this kind of instrument which shows what is it? ये बताता है कि आप किस स्पीड से चल रहे हो एट पर्टिकुलर टाइम उस टाइम पे आपकी स्पीड क्या है सो दिस इज द नीडल व्हिच शोस कि व्हाट इज द स्पीड ऑफ योर व्हीकल इट विल वेरी टाइम टू टाइम एज यू मेक स्पीड हायर इट विल गोस इंक्रीजिंग एज इट यू मेक स्पीड लोअर तो इसकी सुई नीचे आ जाती है सो इट इज अ कार हियर आई एम शोन दैट द नीडल इज शोइंग दैट 80 numerical value is 80 so it is moving with 80 km per hour this is how we can see on the vehicle what is the speed of the any vehicle so in speed the speed can be categorized as uniform or non-uniform the uniform means when an object is moving equal distance in equal interval of time then this is said to be a uniform motion and when the object is moving with equal distance in unequal interval of time then this is called the non-uniform motion this is all this is the about the speed now coming for the velocity what is so what is the speed we already studied now what is the velocity velocity is same as that of the speed the only difference is that ki speed may hum dekhte hai ki iski koi direction nahi hoti hai but in velocity it has direction with the magnitude so the velocity is equal to displacement upon time that is a rate rate of change of displacement of any object is the velocity so velocity is measured on the displacement as the displacement is a vector quantity so velocity is also the what vector quantity it has a direction uh, as we discussed in the speed session that the instrument that measures the 
speed is the speedometer that speed is measured or we can say the velocity measured is that instant of time so the speed or we can say the velocity is measured by the instrument called the speedometer now coming to the average speed what is the average speed here we can say that when we ask about the speed so it is always be said that the speed is x kilometer per hour that is the average speed let us take when uh, i am just taking an example if a person is moving from one place to another place then what will happen in that case he is going to tell about the what is the speed that is the average speed so average average speed is what if a person starts from point a and reaches to some point b in between in between he has changes his changes the speed so finally when he reaches to point b what he will going to tell he will going to tell that x kilometer per hour was my my speed how he has calculated calculation can be done by the speed is equal to distance upon time so whatever the, the distance he has traveled jitna bhi usne distance traveled kiya usko kya karenge that is distance traveled upon that total time that gives you the average speed always gives the average speed so average speed is the ratio of the distance traveled to the time taken this is the average speed and average speed has no direction because speed has no direction it's a scalar quantity now same we can say for the velocity average velocity is what average velocity is measured from the final velocity to the initial velocity that is a difference between these two gives you the change in velocity in that time interval so the change in velocity at that time interval gives you the average velocity and note that it has the direction so whenever the any vehicle is moving from one place to another place at that particular instant at any time instant the speed is nothing but the velocity with the direction so we can say the at any time of instant the speed of a vehicle is nothing but the velocity of that vehicle at that instant of time so this is the average speed and the average velocity the formula mathematical formula we already discussed that the total distance traveled upon total time taken is the average speed and what about the average velocity it is a rate the change in velocity to that time interval so this is the average velocity so in all this discussion we have used many times that instant 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 that instant of time that instant of time means that instant what is the speed or the velocity of the vehicle if you can see in this uh, graph uh, a car is moving like this so at particular instant at particular instant what will be the speed so if one has to calculate the speed or the velocity then he will going to tell you about the velocity in particular direction so this is the instant it means if you can see the mathematical term yahan pe hum dekhte hain vx yani velocity of a car is or any vehicle is moving in x direction so limit delta t tends to 0 delta t tends to 0 means that the time is approaching towards the zero it is not zero point is this ki ye zero nahi hai जीरो नहीं है भाई वो जीरो से ऊपर है थोड़ा ऊपर होगा इतना भी होगा लेट इज क्लोजेस्ट टू दी जीरो सो डेल्टा एक्स अपॉन डेल्टा टी इज वॉट लेट इज अ चेंज इन डिस्प्लेसमेंट अपॉन दैट इंटरवेल ऑफ टाइम और वी कैन से डी एक्स बाय डी टी सिंपली एक्स इज अ पोजिशन इन दैट टाइम इंटरवेल सो विलोसिटी कैन बी सेट बाय डी एक्स बाय डी टी सो वी कैन से विलोसिटी इज डी एक्स बाय डी टी कार इज मूविंग from one position to at any instant if you can see at any instant the car has the velocity plus the direction so this is the instantaneous speed and the instantaneous 
velocity now the motion what is the type of motion as we discussed already about the terms like the speed and velocity uh, instantaneous speed average speed instantaneous velocity and average velocity now what is the type of motion exactly uniform motion and non uniform motion uniform motion means a uh, object moves particular distance or equal distance in equal interval of time as you can see here a car is moving on the road so on the graph simultaneously so you can see on the graph a car is moving and this car is also moving like as the time is increasing the distance is also increasing it in a particular direction that is a one dimensional it is a one dimensional we are we are discussing about only the one dimensional so you can say this as a time increases distance is also increasing in same ratio and that particular motion is called the uniform motion so it is very much clear about the uniform motion means a distance equal distance traveled in equal interval of time is the uniform motion so uniform motion हमने समझ लिया अब uniform को छोड़ दिया तो भाई कर लिया तो भाई non-uniform कैसे छोड़ दें so this can also be based on distance and time interval that is the equal distance has covered in unequal interval of time अब यहाँ पे graph देख रहे होगे graph में क्या कर रहा है कि it is moving like this it is not the linear as in the previous case we had seen that is in uniform motion the graph was like linear but here it is not the linear it is we can say it is an exponential so as the time increases distance is not increases in the same ratio this is called the non uniform motion so in simple definition we can say the equal distance traveled in unequal interval of time this is the non uniform motion Let us take one problem of the average speed of a man. Let us see what is the problem. Problem is a man walks for a one minute at the speed of one meter per second, and then starts running for one minute at the speed of three meter per second along a straight track. What is the average speed of a man? As we know that we have to find the average speed of a man or anything. What will the formula? What we use for it? Yes, the average speed is equal to total distance upon total time taken so what is the total distance that we have to calculate what is the total time it is given so the problem is very simple so let us let us try for this means a person sorry a person starts for, for one minute for one minute it is moving with one meter per second and then start running with the three meter per second for one minute so let us solve this problem in first case in first case what is the distance let the distance be x distance is equal to speed into time what is the speed speed is 1 meter per second and what is the time time is 1 minute that is the 60 seconds so the distance is 60 meters now in second part in second case what is the distance distance is x2 that is the speed is 3 meter per second and the distance is sorry time is 1 minute that is 60 seconds comes out to be 180 meter so from here we gathered the information about the distance in first when a person has traveled from position to this position he has traveled 60 meters and after reaching this he start running to his destination that comes to in 180 
meters. So, what is the total distance? What is the total distance? Total distance is 60 plus 180. That comes to be 240. 240 meters. Now, total time it is given. Total time it is given which is, is you can see 1 minute and 1 minute that is 60 plus 60 is 120 the total time is 120 seconds the formula is average speed that is equal to total distance upon total time which comes to be 2 meter per second so 2 meter per second is the average speed of the man. Now you can see on the slide that there are two average speed formula. Average speed 2xy upon x plus y and x plus y upon 2. Where we can use this instantly. There are some conditions. Let us first derive for the first that is 2xy upon x plus y. Why? Let us see how it comes. Uh, let me explain you. In first case, let us. It is saying that the distances are same, and the time is different, and we get the average speed as 2xy upon x plus y. How come? Let us see. देखते हैं इसको कैसे आता है. हम मान लेते हैं कि जब कार स्टार्ट करी, from initial to reaching a point A. Let it be distance S. उसके बाद क्योंकि वो बोल रहा है कि distance same है, तो journey one और journey two के लिए distance कितना हो जाएगा? Same होगा। ये ratio बराबर नहीं लग रहा है, but you can consider it as distance as S and S. So distance for first journey is S, and for the second journey, journey it is S. What will the time? Time is not same. It is different. So we can calculate time. But for that we need to know what is the speed. Let the speed for the first journey is x meter per second or kilometer per hour whatever you can take and for second journey it is y meter per second. Let us solve for the average speed. Average speed, average speed that is equal to total distance upon total time. What is total distance? Yes, s plus s upon what is total time we can say that time is distance upon the speed for first journey the second journey it is x upon y by solving it we get the same formula that is 2xy upon x plus y so i think it is very much clear how it came that when the distance is same and the time is different we can directly use this formula we don't need to do any exercise to find the average speed just put the values and get the answer if you have given the only speed that is x is the speed and y is the speed for the part journey okay so let us take for the second case what is the second case in second case uh, what is saying that the average speed is x plus y by 2 the case is what when the distance is different and the time is same so let us find out for this case what will be the average formula first because the question is saying the distance is different let us take this distance first journey is s1 and the second half journey as s2 and the speed is for first journey is x meter per second that is of second journey is y meter per second we use the same formula that is average the speed is equal to total distance total distance in terms of given factor we can write as speed sorry uh, total distance is time into speed plus because the time is same 
t into y this is the first journey distance and this is the second journey distance upon total time that is t plus t which is equal to we can say we can take in common and simplify it it is very simple x plus y by 2 the same formula is given here so the average speed when the distance is different and the time is same simply you put the speed for the first journey speed for the second journey the half of the sum this gives you the average speed let us see more problems on average speed and average velocity so a car travels a distance a to b at a speed of 80 km per hour and returns to a from a speed of 60 km per hour calculate the average speed and the average velocity for the whole journey so in this case a car is moving from a to b the car is moving from a to b and then b to a means it is reaching back to the same position from where it has started so the difference is that when the car is moving from a to b it has a uh, 80 km per hour and when the car is returning back from b to a it has 60 km per hour so let us see what will be the average speed and average velocity let us consider the distance between a and b let a b equals to x kilometers then what will be the time taken time taken let us take d1 equals to which is equal to distance is x upon speed speed is 80 kilometer per hour so it is the x by this hours in second case t2 is the distance is same x but the speed is different that is 60 kilometers per hour so it is x by 60 hours from the equation what we have to find the average speed that is equal to total distance total distance is x plus x and what is the total time this is x by 80 plus x by 60 if we solve this uh, mathematically if you solve this this comes to be 2x upon uh, so this is 7x by 240 which is equal to uh, again we solve this xx can be cancelled so this comes to be 240 into 2 divided by 7 this comes to be approximately 68.5 kilo meter per hour so this is the average speed which comes for the total journey he has asked for the whole journey so the total journey what he has come from a to b, b to a is 68.5 km per hour now again he has asked in the second part what is the average velocity what will the average velocity yes average velocity yaar so body is on average velocity mein kya hai? total displacement total displacement is what displacement that is zero time jo bhi ho so it is the zero so the second one what will be the answer for the average velocity the average velocity is this is the itna zero so i think it is very much clear about the average speed and average velocity how we have, how we have to calculate the average speed and the average velocities i think the difference is also very much clear ek ek agar hum problems aise dekhte hain to usme hame difference bhi samajh mein aata hai ki 
एवरेज स्पीड एवरेज वेलोसिटी में क्या डिफरेंस है स्पीड वेलोसिटी में क्या डिफरेंस है इंस्टेंटेनियस और इंस्टेंटेनियस वेलोसिटी में क्या डिफरेंस है सो लाइक वाइज वी आर टेकिंग अप द प्रॉब्लम सो दैट वी कैन बी क्लियर अबाउट ईच एंड एवरी कंसेप्ट फॉर द स्पीड एंड वेलोसिटी let us move for some more examples for the average speed and average velocity i think it is like way same problem anyways let us see a cyclist is moving on a circular track of a radius 100 meter complete one revolution in 4 minutes what is the average speed and the average velocity in one full rev- revolution one full revolution means the if it is completing the one complete circle circle means the circumference circumference means टू बाई आर सो दट द टोटल डिस्टेंस कवर्ड कितना हो जाएगा दैट इज इफ वी कंसिडर फॉर दी सर्कल सर्कल लग नहीं गया यार सर्कल का कितना हो जाएगा टू बाई आर टू बाई यानी कि 3.14 into the radius is 100. That comes to be in centimeter, so 628 meters. And total time, this is the distance, distance travelled. And time t equals to 4 minutes. 4 into 60 means to 40 seconds. So average. Speed equals to total distance upon total time. So this is half to two point six one meter per second. This is the average speed. And what will be the average velocity? Average velocity. the total one complete revolution means a person is starting from one position and on the way reaching to the same position so displacement is me kya ho jayega we have to total displacement is zero upon the time that comes to be again zero the so answer for the this part for one full revolution is 0 meter per second Let us come to the new problem. Yeah, is it possible to have a situ- situation in which uh, mod of dv by dt is not equal to zero, but differentiation of mod of velocity is zero? पहले तो हमें ये समझना चाहिए individually कि ये terms जो दे रखे हैं ये actually हैं क्या? Let us see what are these terms actually. यहाँ पे आपको दिख रहा होगा कि dv by dt दे रखा है. D v by dt. This is the velocity and the modulus. What does it mean? It means that the velocity is changing at that rate is nothing but the acceleration. Yes. So d v by dt is the acceleration. Now, but what? क्या ये zero है? अब ये और ये term कैसे similar हैं या dissimilar हैं with each other? इसको भी देख लेते हैं नाउ इस पार्ट को चेक करते हैं ये कहता है डी बाई डी टी ऑफ द मैग्नीट्यूड ऑफ विलोसिटी इज जीरो बच्चों एक चीज का ध्यान रखना कि मॉडुलस ऑफ वी यानी विलोसिटी का जो मैग्नीट्यूड होता है दैट इज नथिंग बट द स्पीड सो वॉट ही सेंग ही सेंग दैट द d by dt of the speed is what zero ab kehne ka matlab kya hua any function which is been differentiated comes to be zero means speed is constant ab wo ye keh raha hai kya dv by dt yani acceleration acceleration yani magnitude jo acceleration ka hoga that should not equal to zero but द स्पीड इज कॉन्स्टेंट इसको हमने सिंप्लीफाई कर लिया मैथमेटिकली टर्म से अपने टर्म्स के अंदर दैट द मैग्नीट्यूड ऑफ द एक्सेलरेशन यानी एक्सेलरेशन क्या है 
जीरो नहीं है एक्सेलरेशन जीरो नहीं है देखना एक्सेलरेशन जीरो नहीं है बट दी स्पीड इज कॉन्स्टेंट क्या ऐसा कोई केस है यस यू कैन सी अगर हम मैं तुम्हें एक एग्जाम्पल लेके बताता हूँ अब इफ अ पर्सन इज मूविंग इन अपवर्ड डायरेक्शन लाइक दिस और फिर वो नीचे की तरफ आ रहा है इन दिस पैटर्न नॉट अपवर्ड इन दिस पैटर्न इज गोइंग लाइक दिस तो अगर देखा जाए इसकी वेलासिटी ट्वेंटी मीटर पर सेकेंड है एंड थ्रू आउट इट इज ट्वेंटी मीटर पर सेकेंड ही इज गोइंग इन अपवर्ड डायरेक्शन मीन्स इट इज देखा जाए तो स्पीड तो हमेशा जो है मैग्नीट्यूड में देखी जाएगी कोई डायरेक्शन नहीं होता अगर हम इसकी वेलोसिटी देखेंगे तो क्या हो जाएगा इस डायरेक्शन में अगर हम देखेंगे तो इसकी जो हो जाएगी दैट इज आई कैप दैट इज ट्वेंटी आई कैप और इस डायरेक्शन में अगर हम देखेंगे तो वेलोसिटी को तो क्या हो जाएगा माइनस ट्वेंटी आई कैप माइनस क्यों हो गया बिकॉज इट इज इन नेगेटिव डायरेक्शन तो यहाँ पे वेलोसिटी क्या हो गई यस डायरेक्शन आ गया डायरेक्शन आ गया तो क्या हो गया वो नेगेटिव हो गया बट स्पीड इज थ्रू आउट दी सेम बट वेलोसिटी क्या होगी हर पॉइंट पे अगर हम चेक करेंगे वेलोसिटी जो होगी अगर हम इस मोशन में अगर हम देखें तो वेलोसिटी क्या होगी वेलोसिटी विल गोइंग टू बी चेंज यहाँ पे कुछ और होगी इसका डायरेक्शन ये होगा यहाँ ये होगा यहाँ ये होगा फिर यहाँ नीचे जाने लगा तो आई कैप जे कैप एंड लाइक दिस सो दिस इज दी डायरेक्शन एंड दिस इज दी मैग्नीट्यूड बात वो ये कह रहा है अब उसने कहा है कि dv वी बाई डी टी इज नॉट इक्वल टू जीरो यानी एक्सेलरेशन जीरो ना हो और स्पीड कॉन्सटेंट हो अब हम एक एग्जाम्पल ले लेते हैं दैट इज इन दी सर्कुलर मोशन सर्कुलर मोशन में अगर हम देखें इसको तो क्या होगा सर्कुलर मोशन में एक सर्कल का देखते हैं इफ एन ऑब्जेक्ट इज मूविंग इन सर्कल तो हर एक पॉइंट पे अगर हम मान के चलें कि उसकी वेलोसिटी सॉरी द स्पीड जो है वो सेम है दैट इज ट्वेंटी मीटर पर सेकेंड थ्रू आउट उसकी ट्वेंटी मीटर पर सेकेंड है बट वॉट इज द वेलोसिटी इस पॉइंट पे वेलोसिटी क्या होगी ये होगी इस पर ये होगी इस पर ये होगी या एवरी पॉइंट उसका जो डायरेक्शन है वो चेंज कर रहा है अब इस थ्रू आउट अगर एक्सेलरेशन देख एक्सेलेशन भी दो होती है अब सर्कुलर के केस में एक्सेलेशन क्या हो गई एक टेंजेंशियल हो गई हम यहाँ पे एक्सेलरेशन जो होती है टेंजेंशियल होती है और एक रेडियल होती है यहाँ पे रेडियली जिन फोर्स जो लग रहा है दैट इज इनवर्ड डायरेक्शन रेडियली इनवर्ड डायरेक्शन सो वी कैन से दैट यस इट इज ट्रू दिस इज केस इज ट्रू दैट दिस फंक्शन डी वी बाई डी टी मॉड प्लस यानी कि इसका मॉड जो होगा दैट इज द एक्सेलरेशन इज नॉट इक्वल टू जीरो एक्सेलरेशन नहीं उसकी एक्सेलरेशन कुछ ना कुछ है वो एक्सेलरेशन जीरो नहीं है वो मूव कर रहा है एंड बट डी बाई डी टी ऑफ द मॉडल्स ऑफ दिस मीन्स द स्पीड इज जीरो यानी कि स्पीड क्या है कॉन्स्टेंट है यस स्पीड इज कॉन्स्टेंट थ्रू आउट दिस मोशन और एक्सेलरेशन भी है सो इट वी कैन से दैट द फंक्शन जो ये दे रहा है इट इज पॉसिबल यस इट इज ट्रू आई थिंक क्लियर हो गया होगा वेरी इजी कंसेप्ट सो मूव टू दी अदर प्रॉब्लम let us see for this problem a man take his dog for a walk to a park that is 2.5 km from his home with a speed of 5 km per hour he reaches a park rain starts he instantly runs sorry turns and walk back with the speed of 7.5 km per hour what is the average velocity and average speed of a man over the time interval that time interval is given first is 0 to 30 minutes second is 0 to 50 minutes and third is 0 to 4 minutes 40 minutes so let us start with the problem for the first 0 to 30 minutes but agar man is taking his dog from his home to the park to so total time, distance kitna de rakha hai that is 2.5 so let us solve for the distance time nikalte hain pehle इसको सॉल्व करते हैं सो टाइम टेकन कितना हो जाएगा पहले वाले केस का इसका देखते हैं टाइम टेकन कितना हो जाएगा टी वन इक्वल्स टू डिस्टेंस डिस्टेंस इज टू पॉइंट फाइव अपॉन द स्पीड इज फाइव दिस इज फाइव किलोमीटर पर आवर दैट्स कम्स टू बी दैट इज आल्सो किलोमीटर सो इट इज वन बाय टू आवर्स एंड द टाइम टेकन फ्रॉम when he has instantly turns back and walk with the speed of 75.5 km then t2 will be distance is jitna gaya utna hi wapas aayega so 
बाय नाउ द स्पीड हैज चेंज क्योंकि बारिश हो रही है तो तो तेज भागने लग गया तो 7.5 दिस इज 7.5 व्हिच कम्स टू बी 1 बाय 3 आवर्स तो टोटल टाइम कितना हो गया इसका टोटल टाइम इज t1 प्लस t2 दैट कम्स टू बी 1 बाय 2 प्लस 1 बाय 3 व्हिच इज इक्वल टू 5 बाय 6 hours so this is the total time taken from starting point reaching the park again coming back to the initial position so 0 to 30 minutes if we see 0 to 30 minutes half is half hour means it is 30 minutes to pehle wale problem ke agar hum dekhe pehle wale problem ke agar hum dekhe what will be the situation question is this that for first case for first case yes for the first case 0 to 30 minutes 0 to 30 minutes ke nikalte hain time kitna ho jayega average velocity kitni ho jayegi average velocity is equal to displacement what is the displacement kahan se lega 2.5 tha to 2.5 upon time time is 1 by 2 which comes to be 5 5 km per hour what will be the average speed average speed that is equal to again the distance here we put the displacement here we put the distance 1 by 2 that is the same 5 km per hour in both the case if we see 0 to 30 minutes the average speed and average velocity both are same now for the second case second case it is given 0 to 50 मिनट्स जीरो टू फिफ्टी मिनट्स मीन्स पहला थर्टी मिनट्स और जब वापस आया तो कितने में आया था वन बाई थ्री वन बाई थ्री मीन्स इट इज ट्वेंटी मिनट्स तो टोटल टाइम कितना हो गया टू एंड फ्रो जर्नी का इनिशियल पॉइंट से पार्क तक पहुंचा पार्क से वापस आया तो यहां से जाने में उसको थर्टी मिनट्स लगा एंड वापस आने में उसे ट्वेंटी मिनट्स लगा तो टोटल टाइम उसका कितना हो जाएगा फिफ्टी मिनट 50 minutes so in this case average speed is equal to total distance total distance kitna hai gaya aur aaya yani ki 2.5 into 2.5 that is 5 okay and the time is what time is 30 minutes means 1 by 2 and 1 by 3 that is 5 by 6 hours which is Equal to six five कैसे हो जाएगा ये six kilometer per hour this will be the answer for the average speed average velocity क्या होगा इस केस पे average velocity निकालते हैं अब भाई वो जहाँ से शुरू किया वो वापस वहीं पे पहुँच रहा है तो उसकी displacement कितनी हो जाएगी displacement is zero the time जो भी रहेगा it is zero so In second case, we have find that the average speed and average velocity both are different. Now, in third case, we are going to find the zero to forty minutes. Zero to forty minutes. जीरो टू फोर्टी मिनट्स के लिए अगर हम देखें तो टाइम फ्रेम क्या बोल रहा है थर्टी मिनट्स तो उसको लगा एक तरफ और फिर टेन मिनट्स उसको फर्दर वापस आने में लगेगा यानी कि वो यहाँ से पार तक गया वो तो थर्टी मिनट्स लगा बट उसको कंप्लीट जर्नी जब वापस आया था तो ट्वेंटी मिनट्स लगा था बट हम यहाँ पर टेन मिनट्स ले रहे हैं बिकॉज टोटल टाइम फ्रेम इज जीरो टू फोर्टी 
minutes so we have to calculate for this 10 minutes distance what is the distance in this case we can find by the distance is for the speed into time speed is what returning over the 7.5 km per hour and time is 10 minutes 10 minutes and 10 by 60 minutes hours that comes to be 1.25 km 1.25 km यानी कि अगर हम देखें तो ये जो निकल के आया है वो कितना 1. Point, one this is the 1.25 km so what is the average velocity average velocity is the displacement अब displacement कितना हुआ ये तो इनिशियल पोजीशन है और ये यहां पे आया तो इसका बीच का डिस्टेंस कितना हो जाएगा इसका डिस्टेंस हो जाएगा टोटल बेस अगर हम डिस्प्लेसमेंट देखें तो इतना हो जाएगा 2.5 minus 1.25 दैट कम्स टू बी 1.25 सो द डिस्प्लेसमेंट इज 1.25 ओके 1.25 and what will be the time so this convert into hours 40 minutes is converted into hours which is equal to this so it is approximately comes to 1.87 kilometers per hour and what will be the average speed in this case average speed is equal to डिस्टेंस अब डिस्टेंस कितना हो जाएगा भाई पहले गया कितना 2.5 आया कितना 1.25 इन दोनों को हम सॉल्व कर देते हैं दैट कम्स टू बी 3.75 टाइम फ्रेम कितना हुआ 40 मिनट्स का आवर्स में कन्वर्ट कर देते हैं दैट्स कम्स टू बी 5.62 किलोमीटर्स पर आवर so this is the average velocity and average speed for 0 to 40 minutes.